about we stop with the pretendian thing? As Indigenous peoples, we are all reconnecting in some way. The whole objective of colonial laws and policies were to disconnect us. Disconnect us from our families, our nations, our cultures and identities, and our lands. Through forced relocations, the reserve system, residential schools, 60 scoop forced adoptions, and the foster care crisis, as well as the Indian Act status system, which excluded thousands of women and children. And don't forget the over-incarceration and murders and disappearances of Indigenous women and girls. The historic and ongoing genocide of our nations has taken a huge toll. But we have resisted and we have struggled to revitalize our languages and cultures, laws and governing practices. And we're also struggling to reconnect with our families, our home communities and the land. Pretendians, wannabes, and fakes not only try to appropriate our cultures, but also our struggles, and then use them against us. Pretendians come from this place of entitlement and colonized thinking about identity as being race and blood, something you can shop for online. They think they can buy our identity through DNA tests or genealogies or memberships in fake organizations. Pretendians don't have lived experiences, community connections, or living relationships. Pretendians are occupying places, spaces, and voices meant for real Indigenous peoples. And Pretendians make it harder for real Indigenous peoples to engage in that hard process of reconnection. That's why we have no choice but to call out Pretendians. We have to ensure that our Indigenous relatives have a safe space to reconnect. And Pretendians won't like it. They'll claim lateral violence, racism, discrimination, you name it. Pretendians will claim that one drop of native blood makes them native. Pretendians will claim that if we don't accept them, we are the colonizers. They'll continue to threaten to file lots of complaints of all kinds. But that's because they see indigeneity through colonized eyes. They think they are entitled to take anything they want from us, our lands and resources, our cultures, and now our identities. They don't realize that indigeneity is about living relationships, kinship. It's about our collective struggles, resistance, and resurgence, something they know nothing about. They haven't lived it. So let pretendians scream into the void while we continue to do that very important work of bringing our people back home. And to all of our people who have been disconnected through the Indian Act status system, residential schools, forced adoptions, foster care, poverty, and prison, we are working hard to bring you all back. If you're interested in issues like these, subscribe to my YouTube channel and get notified when I post a much longer video on this topic. Till next time, stay alert, warriors.